Good morning and happy Easter. The Lord is risen, right? Today is Easter Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord. At this time, if you have a cell phone, please silence it or turn it off. If during the liturgy children need to use the restroom, we ask that they be accompanied by an adult. We extend a warm welcome to our visitors. The celebrant for this Mass will be Father Vaughan. In this gathering, we have been asked to remember all the memorial intentions. Please wear your mask during Mass, except when you receive communion. At the entrances of the church, you will find collection baskets for our church offerings. Please place your offertory in the baskets on your way out of Mass. Please stand. God, see the morning is new. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see, come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who is with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Hallelujah. Love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Hallelujah, love is alive, the sun is arisen for all. Your people sing hallelujah. People of God, let your feet fall away. The chains have been broken, abandon your shame. Lift your heart, lift your heart. He is alive. Hear now his mercy embracing your soul. Hear the fulfillment that once was foretold. It is true. It is true. He is alive. Hallelujah. Love is alive. Conquer the grave and defeat in the night. Love is alive, the sun is arisen for all. Your people sing hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus Christ. 
Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father of men. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death, hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not all to the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance who are, who, um, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected, I 
has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord. How wonderful, how wonderful in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad for. This is the day that the Lord has made. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if, we, if, you, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Christians to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended. In that combat stupendous, the prince of life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living. The glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels are testing. The shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee he, he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran 
and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They've taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Easter to you all. We come and we celebrate this very special day, the highest day of our faith year. A lot of times we think, well, Christmas is the biggest day. Well, it's probably the biggest day for parties and doing that type of stuff. But Easter, Easter is the highest day of our year because it is on Easter that all of our faith is focused. Because it's at this point we go from death to life. That everything that Jesus came for is fulfilled on this holy day. That he enters into our humanity, taking upon all of our brokenness. And aren't we really broken in so many different ways? And he brings us his wholeness, his life, his newness. This is the incredible thing. You remember back with Adam and Eve, they were happy with God in the garden. They were at union with God Union with each other. Can you imagine that? A husband and wife being at union with each other. And then they were at union within themselves. But then, as they chose to break God's commandment, and even with the choosing, they might have gotten by and made things right, but even then rejecting God's possible mercy in that moment. Oh, it's not my fault. No, I couldn't have done that. This was, this was her fault. She gave me the fruit. This woman that you put here, God, it's your fault for putting her here. And with that, what happens? All of that is rent. All of that is broken. That now there's that broken relationship between us and God where we think God is out to get us. There's that broken relationship between people where we're never sure, are they using me or do they want something from me? What, are, are, they, are they really loving me? And even within ourselves, we're broken within ourselves. If you've ever had those days, you know, when you've argued with yourself, as long as you don't start abusing yourself. But if you're arguing with yourself, you're knowing there's something wrong within us. We're not of that unity and union that God made us. We were made for love. But instead, because we're afraid, we have to block ourselves off from other people. We have to be careful because the desires within us now aren't going in the right direction all the time. But Jesus came into our humanity. He walked our walk, he talked our talk, he lived our life, and he died our death in order to destroy all of that brokenness. You see, he wanted to draw us to his heart. But what happens? So often, instead of running to him, we run away because we're afraid. We think, well, God is out to get us. But he said, see, I'm not out to get you. I will let you get me. We think God is going to take everything from us. But he says, see, I'll let you strip me naked. We think God is out to to scourge us. But he says, I will let you scourge me. We think God is out to take our freedom. He says, see, I'll let you nail my hands and my feet to the cross so that I can't even move. And then as he rises from the dead, His first words to his disciples, which we don't hear today, but we'll hear it next week on Divine Mercy Sunday, are, Peace be with you. As God says, do you not get 
I'm not out to get you. I want you to love me and come close to my heart. So he comes in and breaks the power of sin and death by his resurrection. So that now, so that now we have the hope of being made right within ourselves, being made right with each other, and especially being made right with God so that we can share in that eternity with him. This is our faith. This is what we celebrate. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this incredible Easter morning, may we keep our eyes focused on the God who has risen from the dead and is calling us to say yes to him, not to run from him, but to run to his heart, that as we come to communion today, we say, yes, Lord, I accept you as my Savior. I want to have intimacy with you. And right after this, we'll be renewing our baptismal promises. Yes, I want to reject Satan and all his empty works and all his empty show. I want nothing to do with him because he only wants my death, my destruction. I choose you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. I believe in Jesus Christ, his Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I want you, God. Make that choice today because while God has set us free from sin and death, he will not do that in our lives without our choice. As St. Augustine said, God made us without our willing it, but he will not save us without our willing it. So as we renew our baptismal promises, may we truly make that choice for God, saying, I want you, not just in this moment when I'm here in the church after Father Vaughn has been up and down and all over the place, but I want you in every part of my life. I want to say yes to you, my God, so that when it comes to the Eucharist, I will be able to enter into that divine intimacy when all the dividing walls of enmity are broken down And we can have union again with you, O God. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. And now I'm going to go around sprinkling us as a reminder of our, the grace of our baptism. If you have glasses on, you might want to take them off. Streams of water shower us with.
godliness and bathe us in your light. Chosen people, royal priesthood, heaven's pride and glory, gather here to celebrate the wedding feast of Christ the Lamb. On this most glorious of days, let us gather the needs of the world and pray for the healing touch of our risen Lord. For the church, that we may proclaim the risen Lord in word and action, giving hope to those in despair and new life to those who suffer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the peace of the risen Lord may reign in our hearts, our families, our communities, and every nation in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more men and women will joyfully answer the call of the Lord to proclaim his life, death, and resurrection as priests, deacons, and in the consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people of faith who fight to preserve religious liberty, may the Lord strengthen their resolve to hold firm in their witness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have, who have experienced abuse in their lives, may they find healing and support. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died recently, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the memorial intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers of this assembly and for all the pr prayers written in our parish book of intercessions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, your love for all of your creation brought us your only son to live with us, to die for us. Help us to pass on your love to all your creation, to all of our sisters and brothers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness, feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. As we partake of this bread of life, as we receive this cup, Make your church a sacrament of your love. Christ the good shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness. Feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. Shepherd who seeks out the least and lost, mercy embracing all. May our lives reflect the kindness of God. Christ. 
Praise the good shepherd, shepherd your people into the ways of your righteousness. Feeding the hungry, welcoming strangers, the least among us, your presence, Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise the Lord in his name. God will and all his way to church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence 
and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Worthy are you, O Paschalai, wisdom and strength belong now to you. You lay down your blood and dead upon the cross we become a people of with 
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the entrances, you'll find our Easter book that we're giving out this year. We were supposed to give it out last year, but none of you were here last year. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, that's right. We didn't have public masses. But so this book is the real story, understanding the big picture of the Bible by Dr. Edward Shree and Curtis Martin. Uh, you can see it's not a very thick book, uh, but it's uh, very well written, uh, easy to read, and really speaks about kind of the overall themes of the Bible. So those are at the entrances. Please feel free to pick those up on the way out. We also have some copies of the little white book and also the Divine Mercy Novena, uh, which started on Friday. So if you want to pray that Novena on your own, you can. We'll also be doing the Novena here in the church. Uh, tomorrow, today it'll be at uh, basically after the 11.45, so more or less 12.45. Um, Monday through Friday, it's at 6 p.m., and on Saturday, we have it at 2.30 p.m. Next Sunday, we will be having our Divine Mercy celebration, where we will have um, adoration and confessions from 1 until about 3 o'clock, and then we'll have the Sung Divine Mercy chaplet at 3 p.m. This coming Monday, tomorrow, we are continuing our, the Case for Jesus teaching via Zoom, so that's at 7 o'clock. Please contact me if you need the link. This Tuesday, we'll be having our Holy Hour for Life, our monthly Holy Hour for Life at 6 p.m. here in the church, and that will include the Divine Mercy Novena as part of that. Um, and then, again, uh, on your way out, if you would please leave your, uh, your donations and offertories in the collection baskets. Um, some good news, uh, other than the fact that when you switch to GEICO, then you save lots of money on car insurance. Just kidding. I don't have GEICO. Um, we are going to be having Vacation Bible School again this summer, uh, which at least our hope is. Uh, right now, that's our plan. We have these registration forms at the main entrance. Uh, we also have them on our parish website. So if you have children that would be like, like to be a part of that, then please feel free to sign up for that. Um, we do ask on your way out that you please leave your kneeler down so that we know where you've been sitting and we can sanitize the pews. Also with that, because of the switch changeover between the 8 o'clock and the 9.30 mass and people coming in and out, we do need, we do ask that you don't just hang around in the church. We do ask, please, that uh, you leave. You don't have to run out. But um, not hanging around so that we can make sure it's sanitized for the next crew of people who are coming in for the next mass. Finally, just a big thank you to all who helped to make these liturgies so beautiful, those who clean the church, those who sanitize, those who do the art and environment, uh, the music, the lectors, the extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, our altar server, and uh, anyone else who's a part of all of this. So thank you very much for all that you do.
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.